Welcome back to Inside Ambition, a casual news show where we talk about all things Drexel. I'm your host, Alexander George. And before we start, I just wanted to check in. How is online learning going for everyone? Let us know in the comments how you and your professors are handling it. I know times are tough right now, but it could be worse. At least you're not running late because you forgot your umbrella in your room and now you got to sprint to class in the rain and your professor's not going to accept any excuse because some other girl got there on time and dry, but that's because she took an Uber. We all know that's pretty much how the entire month of April goes. Well, now it's May. What's the saying again? April viruses bring May virtual classes? Something like that. Well, even though we've all started to get a little more accustomed to the virtual learning world, some students are starting to realize that their classes are impossible to move online. Specifically, this is happening to students at Westfall. So a group of them decided to start a movement for accommodations due to virtual learning. Now, let's take an inside look. Last week, some of West Falls students started a Facebook group to raise awareness for the accommodations they need due to COVID-19 and virtual learning. I said this earlier and I'll say it again. I recognize that we are all having a tough time right now. This is an adjustment for all of us, including for our professors and the rest of the university. Everyone is experiencing this crisis differently and West Falls students decided to do something about it since they are uniquely impacted. Let's think about it. What majors are housed in the College of Westfall Media Arts and Design? Hmm. Well, the Media Arts and Design majors, duh. How are you supposed to do art and design remotely? That's not a rhetorical question. I'd really like to know. And so would this group of students. They decided to organize to send emails detailing their solutions to President Fry and other important administrators at the university. They argue that they chose Drexel for two main reasons. One, the state of the art facilities and two, you guessed it, co-op. But due to COVID-19, accessibility to these has diminished and they want change. Their first argument is easy to break down. Coronavirus took over the whole world and Drexel, among the rest of the nation's universities, decided to cease operations until we can all be guaranteed safety. This is totally fair. And I gotta thank my boy Mara the Dragon for holding the house down while we're all away. And it's not Drexel's fault that Westfall students don't have access to these materials anymore. But whether it's the editing labs, design studios, or the basement of UCross that oddly enough has very expensive equipment in it, no one can get in. To be honest, I'm not too big a fan of basements, so I don't get why film students are dying to get back there, but to each their own. Most of the classes in Westfall are production classes, which require a hands-on approach. Since there's no equipment for students to be putting their hands on, Many Westfall students are running out of gen eds to take to fill their schedules. So the group of students is asking for an opt-in leave of absence policy so that they can opt out of online classes with no penalties until in-person classes are reinstated. There's a lot that can factor into a leave of absence. It can affect your financial aid, your scholarships, or your plan of study. They want to ensure that this leave of absence will be virtually seamless. No pun intended. Now for the second argument, co-ops. Westfall majors are all on four year tracks. It is not an option for them to have more than one co-op. The only exception is for entertainment and arts majors and a few others who have two three month co-ops. These run during the summer terms. So reasonably, these students are freaking out. I mean, let's take a look at the economy right now, shall we? Nope, never mind. It's too awful to bear. EAM students and others have industries that are at a complete halt right now. Not a single concert is being held within the next few months. All movie production has been ceased and Broadway is canceled for Lord knows how long. 
That reminds me, I forgot to reach out to my pen pal this week. Dear Evan Hansen, I miss you. So imagine you are an EAM student who is actively trying to find a three month co-op right now for this summer, but there is not a single active business in your industry. What does that mean for you? Are you gonna end up like a student that goes to a regular college? Dare I say, a semester school? That means the only thing you'll have to show for your work experience when you graduate is a single three month internship as opposed to Drexel's coveted six. <sighs> I don't wanna think about it. All jokes aside, this is a really serious issue for the students that are facing it. Fall winter cycle Westfall students are worried their industries aren't going to pick back up by the time their co-op comes around. They are asking for the ability to switch co-op cycles until their industries are running again. And as we all know, Drexel offers really awesome programming for its students. Two of its most coveted programs, the Design and Merchandising Study Abroad and Drexel in LA were both canceled due to COVID-19. The Westfall Group is asking that these programs be moved or replaced, but they want to be clear. They are not looking for any financial compensation. Good for them, you know, I can't relate. I'm always looking for financial compensation, even if it's on my way to the subway stop at 34th and Market. My head is glued to the ground looking for spare change. These Westfall students have joined forces with USGA to try and enact substantial change. I applaud them for their efforts. Woohoo, student power! Each individual Westfall student could have easily seen this problem as their own and done whatever they needed for themselves. Take a leave of absence, appeal to Signbright for a co-op cycle switch, but they decided to band together so that no arts major was left behind. I gotta say, that's impressive. We have linked their Facebook group, Westfall Student Union for COVID Accommodation in the description. Join it for any further updates on this situation. Additionally, we have linked their change.org petition and the Westfall student survey below. Please, even if you're not a Westfall student, sign this petition to support your fellow Drexel students. And if you are in Westfall, please fill out the survey so they can gather data for the administration to help their case. And as always, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and follow our Instagram at inside underscore ambition. Leave a comment below with any thoughts you have about this topic or segment ideas you want us to cover. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.